Welcome to another flight in the Kinetic Motion Flight Simulator. I'll explain more in a moment. Right now, let's go. So emergency brake is off and launch. <clears throat> Retracted. Clear for ingress. Retract landing gear. Landing gear retracted. All right. I am flying in the Python type vessel, and I have a bunch of passengers on board. People that I picked up for this passenger mission are the type of people that are prone to be interdicted on their way to uh, pretty much any destination. <laughs> slow down, slow down. All right, one thing I want to check out, though. Okay, good. My boost wasn't working for a while. Thank you very much, Cytec. But I got it fixed. So I have a little bit of speed, and that's going to come in handy. Maybe. Especially if someone interdicts me. Because I don't have any weapons. I took out the weapons to increase my jump range. So if we get interdicted, we'll have to just run away. Run, run, run. Okay. So Massimino Arsenal, that's where we're going. With our passenger load of protesters and rebels and uh, who else? We have protesters, rebels, and refugees. Yeah. And I will divert power to engines. There. Fortunately, Massimino Arsenal is pretty close to our jump point. So... We're not in a vulnerable position for very long. And we are going to make a landing at this terrestrial base. So you get to see what that's like in the motion flight simulator. The Mass Amino Arsenal is on a moon orbiting this gas giant planet. Very Jupiter like, I suppose. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. I don't want to overshoot. I have a certain mm, technique, I guess, theory as far as atmosphere, as far as planetary landings <clears throat> that I didn't really pick up from anywhere, but I try to approach when they're on the, uh, when the destination's on the horizon like that. Like this. And then I enter 
orbit or what? I just get closer at this point. Orbital flight engaged. I always feel like I'm going to crash into the planet though when I do these approaches. And so far, I haven't. And my goal is to come out of Super Cruise less than 10 kilometers away from the, uh, the base, or whatever you want to call it. Lights on. Show navigation window. Let's find that. All right. Hide navigation window. Hide navigation window. All right. Looking for pad zero five. Extend landing gear. Scan detected. Oops. Landing gear deployed. I hope none of these people are wanted. We're getting scanned. All right, fantastic. Shifting here. Okay, so if you uh, want to learn more about how the kinetic flight simulator works. I would love to do more videos, but I really don't see a lot of interest. I don't see a lot of interest quite yet because uh, a lot of people give a thumbs up on these videos, but I don't get a lot of views actually. Landing lights off. So if you want to help me be able to uh, help me generate more interest in a moving flight simulator that works with Elite Dangerous, then please uh, share these videos. Uh, Incoming mission critical message. Oops. Looks like uh, I better get these people delivered here. They are getting impatient. So like I was saying, I don't get very many people uh, actually sharing the videos, Incoming message. which I think is very important, and not just sharing them on social media, but also you know, linking to the videos on like a discussion forum. Or linking to the video in, in, in like a Reddit thread or something like that. All that will help. Because as of right now, I have a very <clears throat> small number of people with a very large amount of interest. <clears throat> it, what I need in order to justify the time to really do a, a DIY tutorial on how this works would be uh, a lot more people that are uh, equally as interested. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> 